Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scooter Buyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.8.7 PC Edition and this is the 12th in a series of videos in which I conquer an ocean monument. Uh, in this video I will be demonstrating how to remove the water from the pillar room wing of an ocean monument uh, in uh, this mock-up. Uh, that's this room right here uh, with this plus shaped pillar in the middle. Uh, but if you are looking for a, another part of the strategy in action, a link to the other videos in the series can be found in the description. Uh, okay, so uh, at this point, I'm assuming that I have uh, drained pretty much everything else except the wings and the lower passageway that goes around the, uh, around the edge here. Uh, I, I'm going to begin the process of clearing out uh, the wings and the lower passageway uh, by first... Uh, clearing out the water from this uh, this room here. I, I always start with this wing um, and, because I find it a little be, bit easier to uh, end the whole process uh, with the other wing over there. So I'm going to clear out this wing here uh, and, um, and then uh, after that I'll be clearing out the lower passageway all the way around and, and I will end clearing the water from the monument at the uh, other wing over there. Uh, so this is pretty much uh, how I would have left this wing looking. Uh, the uh, doors that go all, all along the side here and the cobblestone up here, as well as these doors over here, and there's also a jack-o'-lantern over here. All of this would have been left uh, as part of uh, killing the Elder Guardian in this particular wing. Um, so I, I have this uh, kind of infrastructure in place here. Um, I, I would enter from the, uh, from the maze of rooms over here, uh, and uh, if there are any guardians in here, um, it's not too much of a problem because I've already got a, a safe area. I can just come all the way down here. And now if I have not yet placed a, um, uh, if I have not yet placed uh, doors uh, to block off the access to the lower passageway, uh, I'm going to want to do that now. So uh, go ahead and place a line of doors there. Uh, and from here, I'm going to uh, split this room in half right down the middle, uh, uh, um, and I can use this uh, pillar as a guide. Uh, I'm going to lay down a line of sand. Um, might as well just use, uh, dump it right on top of the jack-o'-lantern, all the way from the doors to the pillar, and then continuing from the pillar uh, all the way to that uh, little staircase over there, and right up here. Uh, and uh, uh, and now I'm just going to want to place sugar canes on top of that sand all the way up to the ceiling. Okay. There is a block of water over this door that can allow water to leak uh, between the two. I'm just going to drop a block of sand uh, to prevent the water from going. I could put any block up there, but sand uh, I've already got a hold of my sand. So I'm going to keep placing the sugar canes all the way up to the top. That will divide this room into uh, two longer but narrower pieces. And that's it. Okay, so it's all, it's all completely split. Uh, and now I can go ahead and uh, start removing the water from here uh, with my sponges. Uh, and I'm going to uh, uh, go along the wall up here, um, uh, all, uh, sorry, starting from the top. I'm just going to travel all the way down the edge. Uh, and I can do this from either side. I'm going to start from over here, um, uh, placing a sponge, and then I want to hit the highest uh, flowing water block. Uh, that's just part of my standard procedure right there. Come up here, put a sponge there. And now uh, I've got uh, a lower layer of water, uh, and I'm going to go along and hit the uh, highest flowing water block. There we go. Highest flowing water block is over here. Highest flowing water block. If I can manage to get up there. There we go. Almost all the water is gone. Highest flowing water block. And there's just a little bit left. I could probably clear this out with a bucket, maybe. Uh, now there's an infinite water source down there. I had to hit it with a sponge or uh, spam torches, and just for fun I'll spam the torches in there. That's, uh, that gets rid of that water there. Uh, and so that's one side done. Just come over and do the exact same thing on the other side. 
um, starting with that upper corner there, and then highest flowing water block, and highest flowing water block, there we go. Okay, highest flowing water block. It's not too difficult. The doors make this side a little bit easier because they've uh, already removed a, a good volume of the water. Oops. Uh, you have to hold the uh, sneak key if you want to place a sponge against the door. Okay, and, uh, and that's it. Uh, this room is already cleared. I just go ahead and uh, clear away um, uh, all my sand and sugar canes and, and doors and everything. Um, uh, and then I would go uh, out into the passageway here that goes around this particular room. Uh, now, I consider the lower passageway to start just a, a little bit on the other side of this break, so um, more or less right here, uh, I'm considering the, uh, uh, the lower passageway to start. Um, so I'm going to come around here, and uh, let me uh, just remove my effects here just so we get a better sense of what this looks like. It's pretty dark in, uh, down here. Over here, there's lots of sea lanterns around, so um, even uh, even if I hadn't had uh, night vision and water breathing on, I still would have been able to see reasonably well. Uh, but now that I move out, uh, out here, um, it's pretty dark. So probably want to uh, hit some, uh, either go over to the wall over there that you can see, uh, maybe you can't see it in the video here, come over here, and place some doors uh, and uh, maybe drop some jack lanterns, um, but I, I would want to uh, I would want to light this up a little bit um, because the uh, pillars with sea lanterns just don't do quite a good enough job. So uh, let me get uh, jack lanterns uh, now. The um, I'm going to be placing a line of sand going around here. Uh, and I don't want my jack-o'-lanterns to interfere with um, uh, with placing the uh, uh, placing the sugar canes in order to create water barriers. So I need to make sure that there is a gap in between my line of sand and any jack-o'-lanterns that I put down. I'm going to place the line of sand uh, right over here. Okay. So I don't want to place jack-o'-lanterns here because there's not a gap. I don't want to place it right here. So I want to try to place it. Uh, all the way over into the side there uh, to prevent um, it from interfering with my clearing procedure. Uh, once you've got a jack-o'-lantern down, it's pretty easy to uh, uh, see far enough to place another one. Um, uh, you don't actually have to do this. Um, it's uh, it's easy enough to um, uh, to travel all the way around the room just by placing sand and sugar canes. So. Um, once I have a block of sand down, I place sugar canes, and I can just, uh, from here, I can step out, place more sugar canes, and place more sugar canes, and uh, it, as if it's dark, I, I can just reach out here and, and hit uh, the side there with uh, jack lanterns from there, so, place sugar canes. I'm going to want to do this all the way to the end of the uh, end of the wing here. So just keep uh, adding sand and sugar canes. Here, the ceiling is only uh, two blocks. Uh, well, it's three blocks high from the floor, um, but I only need to place two sugar canes in order to uh, uh, reach the ceiling. So that's uh, that's how many I'm placing on each one of these sand blocks. You uh, stay within the sugar canes. Any guardians that are around in the area aren't going to target you, so uh, it's um, it's easy enough. Okay, uh, now that I've made it all the way over, um, I can begin clearing the water on either side. Um, I'm actually going to uh, finish um, this line of sand all the way around the other edge, though. Uh, so sand and sugar canes again two sugar canes on each block of sand uh, reach out and just drop some more sand once i'm on the other side of this pillar turn the corner okay, it's getting dark over here so i probably want to uh, stretch out and drop a jack-o'-lantern again Make sure that there's a one block uh, gap in between the jack-o'-lantern and the sand. Oops. 
And almost there, you can see the last pillar over there. It's getting a little bit dark, so I'm going to drop another jack-o'-lantern. Here, uh, now that the Elder Guardians are gone, I don't have to worry about mining fatigue. Um, I can misplace blocks. It's not too much of a big deal. Just have to go out and break them. There's the edge of that uh, uh, edge of the um, uh, wall over there of the room. I'm going to go out a couple more blocks then. And here is um, is more or less where I consider the uh, uh, the lower passageway to start. Let me drop drop a jack o' lantern over there. Drop a jack o' lantern over there. Uh, and uh, it gets pretty dark going down there. Um, uh, we'll fix that in, in the, the next video. Uh, but I'm going to stop my clearing procedure right here. So um, I can either block this off with uh, some more sand and some more sugar canes, but I, I want to draw. Some, uh, uh, I want to make some kind of water break. Let me remove that jack o' lantern here. It was right next to my sand. I want to I want to create some kind of water break uh, going across uh, so that I can um, a little bit uh, uh, more easily uh, begin the work of clearing the uh, uh, clearing the lower passageway. Okay, so I've got uh, kind of a wall of uh, sugar canes uh, blocking off that wing there. Uh, now I can uh, either from this side or the other side. I'm actually going to go start from the other side. Uh, start removing the water on the uh, uh, from this passageway that the uh, sand and sugar canes are splitting. Okay, so down here I'm going to start with this narrower side where the sea uh, where the sea lanterns are because it's going to allow me uh, some more light. Uh, now there is a uh, is an open space up here, but I'm actually going to start my sponges right there just because that's where I'm going to place the rest of the sponges. Let's drop a sponge here. And I don't actually have to fight the water current now because um, I can stay within the sugar canes uh, if I want. So highest flowing water block. Highest flowing water block. Highest flowing water block. Well, almost highest flowing water block. It looks like I missed there. Okay. Around the corner. Almost done here. It doesn't take very many sponges to do this. And one more. Right there. Okay, that's all the water from uh, from that side. Everything over here is cleared out. Uh, everything over here is still filled with water. That's about to be fixed. Going back to my starting point. I could just come from the other direction, but um, I wanted to do it this way instead. Uh, here hitting the highest uh, block. A lot of the sugar canes are going to pop out because the, the conditions for having sugar canes uh, no, longer, no longer exist with the water gone. Uh, the water disappears instantly uh, because of the sponge, but then it flows back in. So technically speaking, uh, there's, it's just a brief moment that, the, uh, that these sand blocks don't have water next to them, uh, but that's enough for a lot of the sugar canes to pop out. So highest flowing water block, highest flowing water block, and keep going. I have one water block. Sometimes there's uh, some water that gets left over there. Uh, that can be removed with a bucket or some torches or another sponge. So high spawning water block. And going around the corner. And it looks like there's just a little bit of water left. Um, Probably I could clear this out with a bucket, um, or maybe not. Looks like an infinite water source. Well, I'll just throw down the last sponge, uh, and that's it. Uh, all the water uh, from this particular wing is gone. Uh, I'm uh, I clean up all of this stuff, remove the sand, jack o' lanterns. Probably want to throw down a couple of torches, although the uh, sea lanterns do a pretty good job of uh, lighting this when there's no water here. Uh, and uh, that is it for this video then. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear all this stuff off, uh, clear this stuff up off camera, uh, and I will continue uh, removing the water from the lower passageway in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.